Hey, it's Claire. How are you doing today? I'm talking to you today about creating the foundations of your money story. Now, whether we like it or not, money is something that's in every single one of our lives. Your definition of wealth is really down to what you deem it to be, because my idea of wealth and your idea of wealth could be two completely different things. The issue with a lot of people is they haven't actually looked at where they've come from with money, where they are today with money and where they want to go forward with it. So how can we do that? But one of the first things that I say to people is for you to build something really strong and robust in your business, you've got to have a solid platform to build it on. It's the old analogy that I use now and I will use time and time again, which is all about when we used to build houses on dirt. So we used to just scrape the dirt and build the houses straight on top of the dirt. And we now know that a lot of those houses need that remedial action. They need that extra bit of underpinning, of remedial work to be done to help them to stay exactly where they are. And that is exactly the same as you and money. For you to be able to build whatever it is you're trying to build in your life and in your business, what you need to do first of all is make sure that you've got a solid platform that you're building it on. We know when we look at all the greats out there, they've all got an interesting money story. They've all had a challenge that has stopped them at some point in their career from achieving exactly what they chose at that point. And it's been an invaluable lesson. The question is though, what is it that you need to do to make these changes? Well, simply the first thing that you've got to do is you've got to discover who you and money are. Is money your friend? Is it your enemy? Now how do we do this? How do we find out which it is? Well simply, the task is for you to go away and think about your money story from the earliest age. So I want you to think about the sayings that we used. How money was perceived in your family, was the lot of it, was the not much of it, was it the subject that you didn't talk about, was it a little bit like sex, it was that one subject that you just don't mention. What was it? And then what I want you to do is I want you to start walking forward to today and thinking of relevant points, thinking of, of things that just pop into your head while you've allowed that space for them to pop into your head because they're the key things that are going to help you understand why you are the way you are with money right now. Once you understand that and once you've got some references, what you can then do is start building the picture of how you would like it to be. So with me, when I was a little girl, my mum used to tell me that money didn't grow on trees. I also was instilled with that if I wanted anything, I'd got to work in exchange for the money that I was going to receive. So a very strong work ethic, but also a big appreciation of that money. Now for many years, I had a huge battle with it and we just weren't friends. You know, I always saw it as the enemy. I always saw it as something that just wasn't gonna get me where I wanted to go. Stupid, I know, it sounds really stupid when you say it out loud, but in reality, that was the truth. So for you to truly understand who you are and how you're gonna progress, what you need to do is put in some work. Now, it may be that you're already achieving a certain amount of excess, excess, success, but right at this moment, your head is hitting that glass ceiling and you just can't work out what it is that you need to do to get to the next level. Well, usually it's pretty difficult when you're trying to do it on your own. Now, one of the things that I do is I have an innate ability where I can talk to you, ask you a few simple questions, and within usually about 15 minutes, I can work out exactly what the challenge is that's going on with you and money right now. And through questioning and through coaching, I'm going to help you to see it and understand it. So if you'd like one of these complimentary sessions and you'd like to see what I can do to help you to remove those blocks, to smash through that glass ceiling and to really, really live the life that you truly choose to live rather than settling for the one that you are right now, then click on the link below and book in one of the complimentary appointments. Is it worth 15, 20 minutes of your time? Is it worth half an hour of your time? Because that's as long as it's going to be at the outmost. If it is, let me see if I can help you. Click on the link below and get in touch. If you're not gonna do that, that's not a problem either. But what I want you to do is I want you to make a promise to yourself 
that you're going to take some action around this because I know there's a reason that you've watched this video. And one of my current favorite sayings right at the moment is knowing is not enough. We must apply. So for you to make these changes, you knowing that you need to make them is not enough. You've got to apply and you've got to take some action if it's important to you. I'll leave that one with you, but until next time, have a great day and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.